What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for a game called Terroir. A game where we grow wine and we sell it to people and make shit tons of money and we be fancy men. Fancy splatter cat. Uh, anyways, uh, this is just a fair warning. I omitted the previous episode, so you're actually coming in on episode two. Because I felt like episode one was just me failing over and over and over again. But this is a game about growing wine and distributing wine. I hope you guys like it. So let's jump straight in and play the game. Alright, so it's time, everybody, for another episode of Tarawa. We're gonna do Zerp Drank Incorporated again, and we got this this time. I've got how the whole Zerple Drank Inc. is gonna rise from the ashes. We got Lil John getting up on the commercials for us, being like, yeah! Showing off our shit, it's gonna be alright. So Zerple Drank Incorporated, doing its thing. So it's January, this time I know how to maintain my foliage. Although we had a couple bad years that weren't our fault, where foliage just didn't grow. And it was just like, well shit, what am I gonna do now, you know what I mean? I don't think I can do anything with this down here until I level up a little bit. I don't think. Planting season's coming up like next month, so we'll go ahead and get that moving. Oh, don't overdo it though. We're planting on loam. This time we're going to do a cab just like before. Boom. Plant that cab and do that thing. And I don't think there's any reason for us to like slow down time for now. We're just going to let the ripeness go up. We're going to play as much of this terroir game as we can because I find it to be weirdly relaxing and mildly entertaining. And so we're going to do our thing here. Just distributing beer and liquor to people makes me happy. Makes me super happy. I don't know why, but I think this might be my calling in life. We've got some kind of rot going on. Fungal rot yield is decreased by 50% every month. We've got optimal foliage right now. What I'd like to do then is we got to trim this down. Take that down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. It's back on optimal. We don't want it on optimal. We want it right there. Perfect. We want it to be on light foliage so that we can accelerate this thing and start getting a little bit of yield. Our yield is going to hurt, though. Our yield is going to hurt this year no matter what we do. So as summer goes along and as we go through the months, we should start getting a better ripeness score. There we go. I'm kind of wondering if I can maintain this. If I knock this down to no foliage. There we go. Fungal rot went away. Fantastic. We managed to get rid of it. I don't know if we spritzed it with something. I don't know how we done did it. But we did it, yo. We made it. It's July. So at this point, we may actually want to take this and right at the end of the year, snip that down. Because harvest is coming up in September. And so if we can get it a little bit more sun, just a little bit more. Not like a ton of sun, but just like a little bit. And so there it is. Ripeness is at 6. If we maintain, we can probably get a better yield and then we can harvest late. So I think I'm going to try and do that. Let's play it risky here. Let's play it real, real risky. Come on, ripeness. Do your thing. We've got rain this month. Total yield is one ton. Let's go ahead and take that. I'll take a ton. A ton works for the first month. Looks pretty good. The grapes were exceptional this year because I cannot be managed. Cannot be managed. That ish. This is what I do on the internet. All right, so we're going to piggyage it. So piggy on up, which is definitely different than ponying on up. Two completely different animals with completely different approaches to up. Uh, we've got every month the fermentation decreases sweetness by one. Okay, I don't want, yeah, just leave it to ferment. We don't want the sweetness to go down. We want the sweetness to stay the way that it is. Uh, we want acidity to increase. I'm going to take acidity all the way up and just kind of see what happens. There we go. Acidity is good to go. Uh, let's cork this thing. We'll put it in common French and we'll let it sit till December-ish. Sounds good to me. I don't know if we'll get the benefits that we want from right there. But acidity is high and everything else is good. So if we sell it in time for Christmas, we should be solid. So let that get into December. There it is. Let's check on our wine here. All right. So sweetness is good. Tannins are down. Body's good. It's an acidic wine, though. But our price will go up. Let's go ahead and bottle this thing. What can we do with this? So Zerpel Drank Incorporated. I don't think the branding worked last time. So this time we're going to call it Sideshow. I'm going to call it Sideshow 2017. Yup. And so it's going to be $2,000 to get that bottled. Looks like we got about 700 bottles. Let's go ahead and get this tasting rocking. Obviously, El Scorchito is going to be a tough nut to crack, but I think we can do it. Uh, the verdict is in. The reviewer's invited. Yeah, it's great. I mean, aren't all cabs great? I mean, well, I think it's great. El Scorchito killed it for us. El Scorchito being a boy, getting us paid. What are we getting paid here today? $15 a bottle. If I can split this up even, I'm going to. So we'll go with each retailer right here or each distributor. We'll go 240 to each of them, increase our reach, and make sure that we're making that guap, getting that Gouda, that Cheddar Stacks. Ooh, that's going to be the next name of our next wine. It's going to be Cheddar Stacks 2020. That's how we're going to do it. It's going to be so dope. You doubt me, but it's going to happen. You doubt me, but it's going to happen, Nerd Castle. 
All right, so we got this. I may have, I may have, I may have gotten a little too hype before this episode. I'll be straight with you. I'm gonna be straight honest with you right now. May have gotten a little too hype before the start of this episode, but I think we got what we need. Hopefully, we'll start making that cash. Fifteen dollars a bottle on seven hundred and fifty bottles should net us a pretty solid score. I don't think it's gonna make us break even for the year. But it should make it so that we get paid. Let's slow down time so that we can plant our grapes. Oh, our grapes are already good to go. We've got optimal foliage. That is not what we want. We want light foliage, please. There we go. Light foliage allows us to control that yield a little bit better. While it's still getting more ripe. Close that on down. We've got optimal foliage again. So let's go ahead and snip that back on down. And does it keep the shears on here? Oh, it does. Keep that light. And I think we should be solid. So with light foliage, we should be able to bring our ripeness up just right. But it's already May. Take that back down, please, because we haven't seen any ripeness yet. We've had, like, no ripeness increases, and that worries me. Take it down further. We're getting towards the edge right now. I don't think it'll get overexposed, but... We've only got two months to get as much ripeness in as possible. So our total yield right now is chilling at 1.1 tons damn son all right so we're up to four ripeness right now 1.32 next month is going to be our harvest hopefully we get a good one out this year i think if we can get this up to like 1.6 1.7 start distributing that thing it's time for a harvest i'll take a 1.5 absolutely i'll take a 1.5 oh we didn't get the bonus this time around because apparently it didn't feel like i did good with my whatever it was that i did my trimming i guess tannins go up by two right there all right let it do its thing got money flowing though so i'm gonna look at the financial report and let's see how we did here so lifetime total expenses storage expenses were 2000 right there chateau maintenance total revenue coming through we actually haven't been paid i don't think have we not been paid hold up go to the wine cellar distributors what are you doing right now like, we should have been paid. Our lifetime revenue is at 31000 right now. I know we made money. Maybe it just hasn't updated our financial port. Yeah, it's for 2017. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll do better this year. Uh, we need to barrel this. So, it needs to ferment. Your sweetness will change depending. Decreases sweetness. Let's go ahead and let's have that chill for like two months. Seems good to me. That'll get us in for October, November. That'll still get us in for Christmas. It'll still get us in for Christmas, which as I understand it, is like peak wine selling season. That's when you be liquidating those wines and getting them out there. You know, people like to drink around the festive seasons. I like to drink around the festive seasons. That's how I know that other people like to drink around the festive seasons. Unless you're like a Mennonite or something, then I guess I don't know what y'all do at Christmas. I I can't imagine Christmas and Thanksgiving without liquor, in all honesty. Uh, so we want to increase our acidity. I do not want to increase my acidity. I'm going to keep it right where it's at. We'll just let the free run juice go. And then we're going to barrel this for a little while longer. And so I'm going to let this chill two tannins down so I want to get tannins down to like four so we're looking at like planting season before we're going to be able to sell this however we should get our updated financial report very shortly which would be great because I'd like to see how we're doing here all right so we'll take this over to like February before we decide we're going to bottle it come on February give it to me we got this February gonna make some wine for the people to drink and get drunk it's gonna be so rad all right, so back down to our cellar. Uh, tannins and acidity are down. Sweetness is up. Let's bottle it. It looks like it's a little weak. It's got no body, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Uh, we're going to call this, as per usual, Sideshow of 2019. We'll call it 2018. Just add some value right there. There we go. Bottle it on up. We got an organized tasting here. It's probably going to get worse this year because we don't have that one-star bonus. Oh, cool. We got a good rating still. So go ahead and sell that off. We've got a pretty good amount of bottles. Uh, 1080 divided by 3. If you want to know the trick for division, by 3. It's very, very simple. I don't know if they taught you this in school, but I'm going to teach it to you now at the Nerd Castle. You sum all of the numbers in the total number. So we have 1,080. So that's 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes, 9 is divisible by 3. And so it looks like right here, if we we're going to describe, or we're going to divide this up evenly, it would be about 360 bottles to each distributor. If you can't do that in your head, that's fine. Neither can I. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. There we go. And so we got over 1,000 bottles going out this year. Should make some money. 
Let's sell them off. It's almost planting season, so we're going to have to worry about this stuff growing on up. Let me get my scissors in hand so that I'm all ready to go. My little pruning shears all ready to do their thing. And so our yields should start to go up pretty considerably. I'm going to let that do its thing for right now. However, if the foliage gets any thicker, I'm going to worry about it. We've got optimal foliage right now, which means that needs to go down to at least light. That's going to go back up to optimal. I'm going to trim it back down to light. And if we don't get anything by, like, June, I'm going to take it down to its lowest yield. Trim that back down. Uh, we've got no ripeness going on right now. So let's go ahead and take it all the way down. Get some of that late stage ripeness in there. Let that thing increase and like keep us nice and fed. Not going to overexpose it, but hopefully we get a good yield this year. We're at four for ripeness right now. Hopefully we get a little bit of rain. That'll bring the foliage back up. And due to our pleasant curation, we should be all right. We actually broke even this year. Oh, really? It's not going to give us rain. Okay. Uh, as soon as September comes around, we're going to want to ditch this. Or we may want to keep it a little bit late. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're overexposed right now. I'm going to hold on to it for a minute and see if maybe we can get something to grow. Let it grow just a little while longer. We're into October and we have no foliage. I'm going to go ahead and harvest it. Uh, we've got... That's a rough harvest right there. It's very sweet and has very little acidity. Luckily, we can fix that. Luckily, we can fix that, and it's not a big deal. So let's get the tannins moving. I'm trying to keep some cash flowing in this episode because our cash flow ran out last time, and that's what got us into trouble. So with our barreling, fermentation is going to increase sweetness. We can just go less than a month because the sweetness doesn't matter right now. And instead, we're going to have to bring... Acidity is going to increase by 7. Let's bring it up by 4. Bring it up by 5. There we go. Pressing is good to go. We need to barrel it. So we'll throw it inside common French oak. And then we're going to let that sit until probably February. Maybe February, maybe January if I'm feeling especially froggy. But I don't know how froggish I'm feeling right now. I don't know. So let's increase time because we've got nothing else going on. There's no reason for us not to. And this year we're going to have to be careful because we have exposed vines at the moment. Let's take a look at our cellar and see how that wine's doing. Tannins are down, it's sweet, it's acidic, it's still got body. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to call this, uh, this is once again going to be Sideshow 2019. I really wish it saved that. That's one of those features that really needs to be added where it, like, saves right there. Aside from that, I'd also like to see a feature where you can decide how much of it you want to bottle. They could put in an extra tab right here and it'd be super easy. Uh, cork will make it more expensive, but we made bottles off of the last one, so let's cork this one. Let's cork this one and we'll see what happens. Organize that tasting, see if we did better or worse this year. Or if we just kept it constant, that's fine by me too. Oh, it's bad. They don't like it at all, it's too sweet. Five bucks a bottle, looks like we bottomed out on that one. So we'll go 420 to you. Go 420 to you and we'll make some money off of it. So we know better than to keep sweetness high next time. It's too sweet. Alright, just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. I'm sure there's somebody out there that'll use his cooking wine or something. Took a hit this year then, and we used the... Oh, I expected a good review this year, and so we used the... We used the cork on top of it too, which cost us a bunch of money. We'll bounce back. It's not that big of a deal. So that was too ripe. We want to keep ripeness around five then, as far as I can tell. Let's go ahead and get started then. March, we should get some rains or something. Ripeness is going up a little bit, which means that at the end of the year, we'll probably want to... Ooh, ripeness is way too high this year. Let's see if we can get some foliage in. If we get some foliage in, we can fix this. If we don't get foliage, though, we're going to be hosed this year, too. Come on. Oh, it's way too high. Come on, give me some rain. Give me some rain clouds. There we go. A little bit of rain coming through. All right, so a lot of this is just random, too. Like, a lot of it's just, like, hella random. Where, like, you don't know how much foliage you're going to get. But luckily, we have some foliage, so now that we've got that growing, it should kick in a little bit. It's July right now. I'm hoping I can trim that overexposed so our yield's going to get hurt. 
Come on. Why won't the leaves grow? Make the leaves grow. If the leaves don't grow, there's nothing I can do about a bad yield. That's the shitty part about this, is that there's like such a huge RNG component to the whole thing. It's like, what can I even do? With optimal foliage, we're going to try and get the sun exposure off of it, because it's going to make it too sweet. I'm going to let it ride for a little bit. And we're going to try and get this sweetness down. But if we don't harvest soon, we're going to lose our harvest altogether. So there we go. Bring that back down. Very nice. It's November. We have to harvest now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit better. All right. I can live with that. I can live with that. Let's piggy -age this shit on up. And we'll try to decide how we want to tailor our wine's flavor from here on in. That last harvest really set us back, though. So we want to decrease our sweetness. Let's get it decreased by three. Maybe two. We'll take it down by two. That's fine. Ferment it on up, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, and so now we're time for crushing. Uh, we want our insidity to basically be the same for right now. We don't really. We're just going to free run it. Our acidity is already pretty high, and we're going to let this sit for a little while in our common French oak barrels. That's going to sit for a couple of months. In fact, we're already into our next harvesting season right now because I had to wait on that last harvest in order to even it out and get it to where it wasn't overly sweet. Once we get to like, oh, I don't know. We'll sell it when we can, but we're in March right now, so let me go down to the cellar and see how that's doing. Tannins are a little high. We'll let it go for another month. We got rain early on in this season, so we should see some foliage growth, which will be nice. That's at optimal right now. Let's take that down very slightly to light foliage. Nope, once again, take it back down. There we go. With light foliage, we should be able to do all right here. Oh, we've also got our wine cellar ready to go. So let's take this, and we're going to bottle it, and we're going to sell it. Let's do what we got to do. Organize that tasting. Hopefully we do better this year. Ooh! Verdict is in. Reviewers invited to the wine tasting. Ca Good cab is everywhere, but great ones are rare, like this little gem. Ooh. $22 a bottle. Hell yeah, let's do this thing. Uh, sell what we've got right now, because we need to get some influx of cash. Our relationship has gone up with them, which means if it gets to five, we get some kind of bonus or some kind of thing. So he's got 540. Distributor relation is at plus two because we decided to exclusively distribute through them on this very, very nice, very nice thing we got going on. Uh, we don't have a whole lot. I think the summer is when we're going to start to see a lot of this pop in, though. Go ahead and trim that back down with that last rain. And we'll watch this one. I think we've locked in on the formula. You want to have everything at about five. Uh, take that back down because once the sun gets here, we're going to need it to hit the vines so that we can actually get this back up to like a five or a six maybe. We're only in May right now, so there's nothing to, par or there's nothing to panic about yet. Once the sun comes out, we should start to see some ripeness. There we go. And we're making money off of those bottles we just sold right there. Yield is looking solid if we don't get any more rain and we don't have to do any more trimming. I think we should be in the money for a right on time harvest. I think it should be just right. It's a relaxing little game. It really sincerely is. It's a super relaxing little game. I think ripeness directly translates towards sweetness as well. Got that at a six. I'm going to let this ride for a second longer to see if we can get a better yield out. Get a better wine cellar stocked out. And if we can't, that's okay. That's good right there. We'll take it right there. That's nice. Uh, well, hopefully we can lower the sweetness ever so slightly. Tannins are going to go up right there, so we're going to want to let that live and let live for a little bit. Is anybody else able to distribute my wine bottles yet? They got 63 left. We should still have a decent amount of cash coming in from the previous sale as well. All right. So we need to change our sweetness. Sweetness needs to go down by about three. So we'll leave that to ferment by three months. And if we can start making some real money, I think we're going to be... Ready for expansion to buy some of this stuff right here. 50000 for a new tile, though. 50000 for a new tile, so we'll have to watch out for that. Uh, fermentation is doing its thing. We shouldn't have any further fermentation from any of the bottles that we have going in our cellar right now. They should stay the way that they are, assuming that we keep them stored properly between like 60 and 65 degrees or whatever it is for a wine cellar. I forget what it is for a wine cellar, but you got to keep them right at the perfect level. If I could sell off some of this stuff, we got our five-star right there. they got 12 bottles still waiting to go. 
Seller relations looking a little bit lower at the moment because we haven't sent them anything else, but I can't until they sell the stock that they got. Can't really do a whole lot more. There it is. We're almost into our next planting season. Uh, we don't want our acidity to increase. We want our acidity to go down. So press that quickly. We will barrel it and we'll just let it sit for a couple of months. Probably June. Yeah, June seems about right to get that one moved. Maybe April. We'll check it in April. We'll see how it's doing in April. And from there, we got some rain right there. So we should see this get a little bit of foliage. Our renown is two right now, which is great. That sounds fantastic. I can live with that. So we're in March. Let's do a little looky-loo at our barrels for right now. Uh, yeah, one more month. We got to sell this in April. April is where we want to get rid of that stuff. So we'll keep an eye on it. This field right here has gotten a little bit of rain, so we should see light foliage. That's good. I'll take light foliage over thick foliage. And as soon as this rolls over to April, we're going to be really solid. There we go. We're in April. This is what we need to do right now is we're going to pause the game and keep that foliage right where it's at, right where it's at and optimal. And with what we got going on right now, we need to get rid of these. We need to bottle these like right now. And so that's just perfect. We'll call it the 2021. Did pretty well with it last time, so we'll cork it this time. The bottles that we have, it got five stars last time with four, six, six, five. With five, 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 I couldn't get it as close as I wanted, but hopefully we do well this year. Ah, we've got a new guy in here. Bite him to the tasting, five stars, fantastic. We now have a cellar full of five star wine that we should be able to move with somebody. So we'll send them the 720 batch right there. We're going to make them our exclusive seller for right now. Actually, we need cash at the moment. We'll keep them our exclusive seller, Manhattan, right there. And then what we'll do is we'll go back with the bottles we have left of this, which is 540. We will sell 270 to each of these distributors. Actually, if I can get Haogang Wine Market, ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It looks like the bonus is that we get paid more money when we sell it like that. So there we go. They sell higher. This should be a windfall year for us. We should make some good money right here. I don't think there's any reason to think that we're not. So I'm going to keep it on an optimal for now. We'll get rid of that. Keep it on optimal as much as possible. And let's just watch that money flow in, kids. Let's watch that money flow in. We've got optimal foliage at the moment. We're going into May. I'm going to trim that down. We're just going to see how this can go. Uh, developers, I would highly recommend you allow the player to right-click the scissors off of his clicker, in case you were wondering. Uh, I would love that. If I could just click that off so that I don't accidentally click my crops, that'd be great. So with light foliage, that looks like it's going in. We've gotten a little bit of fungal rot in there, which means that we need to expose it to the sun, I think. But I can't really expose it to the sun without getting into trouble here. Cash flowing in. We got a windfall right now. A windfall of cash. There it is. We just jumped up to almost 40 grand. I'm going to try and keep ripeness a little bit lower. We've got optimal foliage at the moment. I'm going to keep it right where it's at, and I'm going to go for a big yield because we lost a little bit to the rot that we had. Oop, 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 oop. Nope, pause, 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 pause. Take that back down. Take that back down. Take that back down. There we go. I need that sweetness to go back up. And we, luckily, we've got time to let that happen, so... Get the sweetness back up to five, and then we'll be in a really sweet spot. I'm going to trim this down. And I'm just waiting for that to happen. But if we get to December, I might have to go early. All right, let's just harvest it. It's rough, but sweetness is at five. We can get more tannins. We can't really get more body right now with the things that we have going on. Crushing method. There we go. After this next little burst, we should be able to upgrade our chateau. Which means that we'll be getting a little bit wealthier. I think our... Uh... So with this, uh, sweetness is going to decrease. We're going to keep that at less than a month then. We're not going to ferment it long. And then over here, we want our acidity to increase by two. Three, actually. We'll go four. Because that'll put us at eight acidity. Actually, no. We want this to be at six. We want... We could actually bottle and sell this almost instantly. It's basically perfect right now. Yeah, so just press it. We'll cask it and we'll sell it right away. Because this is basically right where we want to be at. And so it has been casked. We don't want that to sit for long because that will make the bottles worse. We're going to bottle it right now. 
We're going to go Cork on top because it's basically the same stat that we had previously. If they haven't sold their stock, I would like to sell the remainder through here. So we'll go 300 right here. We'll go 180 through here so that our next bottle will be exclusive to the other wine vendor. We will organize a tasting for this guy, and hopefully we will do well. I'm going to leave El Scorchito out right now. And in fact, he's got higher prestige. Let's go with Caleb. There it is. Very nice. Very, very nice. We've got this thing killed. We basically got locked in on the formula now. And so what I want to do is I want to sell these bottles as soon as possible to a distributor that has the weight to do it. And so we'll go full batch to him. Sell. Five-star rating. As long as your distributor relations remain at five, Manhattan will buy your wines for 10% more. Very nice. About to get that cash here today. And we're almost into our next planning season. We've locked in on the formula, everybody. We've locked in on that formula. We're making that drink. That sideshow. See, now we can start to brand it. Now I'm going to start calling it sideshow. Because we didn't... It was a literal sideshow before. Now, it's the sideshow that you stop for. It's that good-ish. And we're up to $50,000. What can I do with my chateau? What kind of upgrades can I do? So for an upgrade, it costs 100000 to take it up to the next one. We might hit that this year, though. We might hit that. We're making money out the yong at the moment just distributing that wine i'm so excited about this you guys have no idea it's so satisfying to crack the case on this thing and finally get it good uh, we've got no foliage this year we might get a little bit overexposed maybe we'll see what happens with it but i mean we've got enough money to where we can sink a bad year and it's not a bad idea all right so our yield is going to get overexposed before too long so it looks like we're going to work in the opposite direction this year Hopefully we can get some rain. Hopefully that foliage grows. If we get thick foliage, we can bring that down to a five. There it is. We're sitting at optimal foliage right now. That should be good. We'll let that go to heavy foliage in just a moment. Let that heavy foliage get in there. There we go. Very nice. And then we'll trim that back in just a minute. We'll trim that back in just a minute. All right. So now that I'm on optimal, we're going to take that down ever so slightly. And we should be good for a very banner year. I think we're going to have a really, really good vintage this year. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I am. Just don't question me on it. I'm really excited about what's happening. we got heavy foliage again. Trim that back down so that we don't drop to a 4. I'm going to drop that down to light foliage so that we can get it back up to a 5 before we have to go into harvest season. Come on. Give me that good shit. Give me that good shit. We got this this year. Good. We're ready for a harvest. I'm going to let this one wait, though, because we got the money to sit on. I'm going to let this one wait, and we're going to see how we do. And we're going to take this into maybe November. Just get a real good yield off of this one, because I got the sweetness exactly where I want it. Bring that back down. It's October now. We're into November. The yield is solid. We can raise sweetness. Go ahead and harvest it. Sweetness is at five. Tannins are a little rough. But uh, if we don't mess with the tannins too much, we should be all right. Tannins will go up by two during that process, so that's all good. Hopefully, this yield looked like it was over two tons. I don't know if you guys were watching. I wasn't really. I'm hoping it's over two tons. So acidity, sweetness doesn't need to be decreased. We can go straight to market. And we want to take acidity up by two. So we'll press that real fast. And then with the barrels, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sell this like instantly, I think. I think if we sell this like right now, we'll be in solid shape. Let's get that money, everybody. Let's get that money. So I need to sell these bottles off. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll give them the uh, 238 that we have remaining right there. We'll sell through them and keep that high. We'll sell them the remaining 26 because we're probably going to want to sit on the other batch anyways. And so as long as your distributor relations are at five, you can sell 100% of your bottles to Hao Gang, okay? With our barrels right now, let's go ahead and bottle it on up. We're going to throw a cork on this one. This is officially Sideshow 2013. Or, I'm sorry, 2023. Hell yeah. Keep it nice and bottled up. Organize that tasting. We're going to invite some of the fancier people in. See if they still like it or if they burn us. Cross your fingers, everybody. Boom. There it is. With the higher prestige guys, you get better distribution if you get a better review. And so we are solid right now we're sitting at 65 dollars a bottle nerd castle 65 dollars a bottle let's go we'll go 500 bottles to this individual 
keep it tight. And once these guys sell off their stock, we'll get our relations taken care of. All worker actions to clear forest and plant forest are free. We don't have that, though, so we don't have to worry about it. Should make us a little bit of money. A good 30 Gs right there. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Terawa. I like this game a lot. This game is dope as shit now that I've cracked the formula. I will see you all in the next episode of Terawa. Bye, everybody. <laughs>